Hi, I'm Mariam Afiz Khan and you're watching me on Classic Capital TV. And today we have the pleasure of having Mr. Amir Rauf with us. He's the Islamabad's finest fitness trainer. Assalamualaikum sir. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. So without any further ado, I'm going to start questioning. Um, why did you start bodybuilding? Actually, you know, when I, when I was a teenager, I was very, very skinny. And uh, people used to make fun of me. So I decided that this was the only way to, you know, to gain weight and look big. So that brought me into bodybuilding. Right. So what made you choose this field as a profession? Because you know when I um, started this, and you know there was nobody to guide me. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of people. They knew about it, but they uh, they were not willing to tell. So then you know I went abroad. I started in it and. Uh, when I came back, so I thought, you know, we should give something back to our youth. Right. And uh, that's how I came in this field. Uh, so, when did you come into this field of fitness? Uh, I think in 2003. 2003? Yeah, 2003. I, I Alright. Um, how do you motivate yourself? You know, to motivate me, the Rocky series is good enough. You know. Okay. Whenever I am demotivated, you know, you watch I watch Rocky, Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're a good series. And, you know, th that's my motivation. That's the reason I started bodybuilding. Right. He's my hero. Still on. Right. I mean, as you can see his picture here in my office. So, right. so they, uh, you have to motivate your clients as well. So, you, do you give yourself time to understand their psyche? You know, uh, mostly people come when they realize they need to lose weight or gain weight. Right. So, gaining weight is not a problem. But losing weight, you know, unfortunately our culture is, you know, the eating habits. Mm. You know, we have nothing to do here. So, anything, you know, get together, chalo ji roti khao. Exactly. So, leh mm. roti khate. So, um, if they get together, if the friends are meeting or if they are on date, you know, they end up in cafe or uh, in a restaurant. Exactly. So that culture, so it's, you know, just, you have to tell them, you know, it's, supposing you and I, you know, having dinner uh, or, or lunch. So how, how long does it take? 10 minutes to have your breakfast, lunch and dinner okay. each. And uh, in those 10 minutes, you're having pizza or delicious food. I'm having the boring uh, breast, grilled breast uh, or a steak. So after 10 minutes, once we're done, you're full, I'm full. But who's feeling better? Obviously, me. You're feeling lethargic, heavy after having pizza. So, and then you know who's looking better. Obviously, who's controlling the diet. Yeah. So these things you have to tell them again and again that you know uh, it's, it's a lifestyle. And, and and because you know that those, for those 30 minutes pleasure, don't ruin, don't destroy yourself, your personality. All right. So my next question is, um, what kind of dietary routine do you suggest to your clients? Uh, depends uh, who somebody wants to lose weight or gain weight. So it's a different kind of diets. All right. So, what do you suggest for people like me to uh, do in order to gain weight? Okay, gaining weight, you don't want to gain fat. You want to gain muscle mass. Right. For that, uh, balanced diet. You know, uh, complex carbs such as uh, sweet potato, brown rice, uh, whole wheat pasta, whole wheat roti. Hmm and a uh, lot of protein. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, so, how important is exercise in our daily lives and to maintain our health? It's very, very important. You know, I mean, it slows, the, it slows down, you know, your aging process. It doesn't stop, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you're, when you're old, your muscle, you know, they extend or they shrink and, you know, posture, you, uh, your yes. shoulder drop. So with this, you know, you, you keep your muscles, you know, strong. Stronger. Yeah, and, and you feel good about it. Right. Um, so, what kind of lifestyle should we adopt to maintain our health? You know, um, in your lifestyle, workout should be must. It's just you know, half an hour a day, yeah. weights and uh, sleep on time. You know, आजकल के बाद ये, I mean. Youths you have, wo puri puri hai, which yeah, is exactly. very unhealthy. You know, uh, go to bed early, wake up early, and uh, balance diet. 
stay away from junk food yeah. uh, such as you know kfc and you know exactly McDonald's. they're the main reason why I yeah i mean getting yeah. weight all right um so what do you suggest we should do to maintain our weight okay maintain you know uh, with your workout whatever you even all your life you cannot stay on diet hmm. so if you want to gain weight and you see you, you reach a point you say that this is where i maintain so then set your diet accordingly and then cover it up with your workouts your daily uh, exercise routine right yeah all right um so what is the natural way of building body muscle if you're not using steroids or protein no, shakes no no protein shake has zero there are two different things all right protein shake is just a supplement you know it's a made uh, whey protein it's made of whey right so that's, that's not steroid health. not steroid so i mean that's good thing to do uh, because i have heard people taking a lot of uh, protein shakes and then ending no. up in the hospital no no uh, with protein shakes you don't steroids yes right. i'm totally against that you know it's very hard because steroid is not for body building it is a life saving drug yeah. you have your health is fine and you're taking life saving drug is going to have you know side effects on you this is i mean our youth they're looking for shortcuts right so yeah you you take steroid your strength goes up your weight goes up but mostly it's water weight it's not muscle and uh, your strength goes up and then you know they feel if they stop they cannot lift that much because then the ego comes in so because of that they 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 keep on taking it that's mm-hmm. where you know they end up in hospitals and some people die because of that right so like what's the difference between fat loss and weight loss okay that's a very good question you're supposing um, like junaid my client is a very dear friend of mine he came to me and he said you know i want to lose weight hmm. he's fat right so losing weight is not a good thing losing fat should be the target you know i don't go by weighing scale i go by measurements right you know i am um, six feet tall my body weight is 105 kg hmm. my waist is 32 all right so i am not overweight hmm. but if you put in the computer the, the typical formula my height and weight it will show as obese All so right. muscle is four times heavier than fat mm-hmm. so you should lose fat and be, maintain muscle and build muscle right. so don't go by weighing scale go by measurements all right you have talked about junaid our chief editor he weighs around I think 135 kg. Yeah, he was 135 when he came to me three three weeks ago. Now he's 131. All right. So I've heard that you and him are like collaborating to make this uh, yeah, on transformation. Yeah, transformation. Yeah, transformation. Yeah. Yeah. So how's that working out for you? Uh, yeah. Because he's very motivated. He is. Uh, he's not cheating on the diet. Mostly uh, people do that. They 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 cheat. uh he is very motivated and uh, inshallah in 6 uh, to 12 weeks you'll feel you'll see different junaid all the time right like so junaid he keeps on talking about you and he tells about your success stories so what's your success mantra it's very simple you know when junaid came to me i i i was making him lift very light and i was not pushing him hard so as he developed with strength and stamina then i keep on increasing gradually you know right. you, you cannot run before you learn to walk right so i don't just uh, i don't try to impress my clients straight away or oh, do this and do that hmm. so uh, you know gradually and now he has reached a point where from next week he'll be doing free weights till now he's been doing circuit training Right. So, so you implement that strategy with all your clients. With all my clients. I mean, if, if uh, normally, I mean, if the kid come to me, say, sixteen, seventeen years old, mm. I cannot just push him hard. He'll run away. Exactly. So uh, you know, just listen to him. Be a good listener. Just keep on talking to him. That you know, your life can change. Just by changing your lifestyle, your eating habits. You know, just coming to gym. So uh, it it really works. So what makes the gym? 
different than all the other gyms in Islamabad? You know, uh, the gym is the first gym in Islamabad. All right. We started in 89. Um, actually, I didn't start. Ahmed Bhai, um, he passed away. He started gym. And after he passed away, then I took over the gym from his sister. Mm -hmm. And then I continued. And because of the oldest gym, uh, we have very experienced trainer. And the key is because I myself, I'm here 12 hours a day. So I think that makes the difference, you know, being here. And looking after everything. Yeah, looking at the uh, members, if they're doing something wrong, going and correcting them. Mm. You know, even if they're not my uh, personal uh, clients, but still. I can't see somebody, you know, doing wrong exercise. Right. So you're correcting them, telling them, giving them diets. Other gyms, you know, they charge you for your diet, they for your workout plans. You know, I give it for free. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for giving us your time. Oh, my pleasure, Jeev. And all your tips. I hope the youth will take notes. So, thank you very Thanks. much.